tall heifer, Simon. There seems a lot of myth around training heifers on robots. Today I'm going to put that record straight. People think it's a bit of a deja vu thing and it's all very, very difficult to do and it's almost been an absolute nightmare training heifers. Well, actually it isn't. It's one of the most satisfying jobs on the farm. And I'm going to walk you through the process. Straightforward it is. But today I'm going to show you how we do it. I train the heifers through the robot. First of all, she needs a, she needs a collar on. We've just brought her down from the cubicle shed. We'll put the robot on training mode. What that does, it allows the uh, robot to make all its noises. So when the heifer's in the robot, we're giving her a little bit of corn. So it's a little bit like an outer pile of feeder, really. And we'll bring her in twice a day, if not three times a day, but most definitely twice a day, each end of the day. And she gets so used to going in, getting a little bit of corn. And then, as I say, the robot's on training mode. So it doesn't actually go on. It just makes its noises. So they just get so used to it. Um, it takes about two or three weeks to get them really, really settled into it. And then every time you come in the pen, they automatically stand up and just want to go into, uh, into the robot. I don't think it matters what sort of robot you've got. The principle's the same for all. It's a case of just getting them going, getting them used to it, not to be frightened, and uh, try and lose all that timidness. If they're a little bit frightened at all, they tend to uh, obviously be a little bit nervous. And if they're nervous, then it makes the job a little bit more difficult. But really, it's just patience, just being quiet and just a bit of patience. So today, I'm going to show you how we do it. So F has been a little bit small. I tend to move around quite a lot in the robot. So what we did, we made this frame to go, uh, go in, in the back of the effer. And what that does, it just holds them forward a little bit, um, stops them moving backwards and forwards too much. And it just allows the robot to scan the effer teats and attachment becomes a lot easier. Otherwise, the effer moves backwards and forwards such a lot, uh, the robot can actually struggle to attach. Um, it's only because she's a bit nervous. Come on, nice and steady, nice and steady, come on. Nice and steady, come on. Nice and steady. Come on then. Okay, we're going to print robot for the first time. She's got a collar on. What we can do, we can shut her down this side so she's facing it right way. Can't we, girl? Come on. Turn round. Turn round. Come on. So what we can do, we can pop her at the back of the robot like that. You can see all the cows and see what's going on. And that way she, she, uh, she has to go in. Remember, this is the first time she's ever been in the robot. So we'll do it all nice and quiet, nice and calm. Just try and let her wander in on her own. We don't want to upset her right from the word go. There you go, girl. Come on, nice and steady. Come on. Robot will move to its service position and that'll just, just do the motions as though it's pretending to milk her. Roll loads will activate. Just as though she's brushing it, so it's making all the sounds that it normally would when it's actually milking them. So she's nice and calm, she's nice and quiet. First time in. She's eating a corn. That robot will pretend to milk her now. Pulsation will come on. So it just makes all the sounds that it would do uh, would do normally. It moves about a little bit, just the same. The only thing it isn't doing is actually going underneath. Just so the effer gets so used to the noises and the movements. And so when it eventually starts milking, it doesn't feel as strange. Right, okay, we're on to day number, uh, number two of the effer training. We'll just walk her in quietly and see how she goes on this time. She's been in about three times now. This will be fourth, so we're day number two. She's still a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. She's a little bit nervous because it's all, all new. Uh, so we'll just do it nice and quietly. Come on, lass. Come on, come on. Come on, nice and steady. Nice and steady. There you go. I'm hoping she'll walk straight in on her own. Fingers crossed. Come on, girl. There we go. She's very keen to go into robot now, obviously for the uh, corn, but uh, the train is going really well. She just wanders in.
All right, as you can see, she's uh, keen to go in. She stood waiting patiently, just like the other cows do now. All right, the heifer's now uh, calved, so she's going to go in the robot for the first time. Uh, we'll see how we go on. Hopefully she'll be nice and quiet. Once again, she's been in for about, uh, been going through the robot for about three weeks. Um, she's just there looking at me now, wondering what's going on. So we've got a nice surprise for her now, so she's going to have to uh, go to work. Now she's calf, she's going to have to go to work. So we'll put her in now for the first time, see how she goes. Hopefully, hopefully, nice and quiet. They can kick and lash out a little bit, but uh, she's so used to going the robot now that uh, I'm hoping she'll walk straight in. Okay, let's walk her in and see what happens. All right, I'll put the frame in. Um, it frames obviously to keep the effort up tight, stop it dancing about. Um, it just makes it a lot easier for the robot to attach the arm to the teats for the first time. If the row, if uh, if the effort stood still, um, she'll she'll just stand there hopefully, and uh, straight on. They can kick a little bit and lash out a bit of the effort on the first time, but uh, generally we do okay because she's been coming through for about three weeks or 21 days. Um, I'm hoping she'll just pobble in quietly, and then uh, we'll see how she goes. Come on, girl, you're all right. Nice and steady. We see how calm she is now, not running about, not scattered. She's so used to going in, but obviously there's going to be a robot. Uh, robot's going to go under her this time and try and milk her. So hopefully, hopefully things will go okay. Like I say, once again, she goes, she goes straight in, no problem whatsoever. And what we'll do, and the frame, the frame pushes her up tight. It stops her coming backwards, so she'll stand nice and straight. So we're going to tell the robot now that uh, she's in. So I'll uh, press start and then I'll make, sure, uh, make sure she's got milk on all four teats, which she has. Click next. So we'll just leave it to do automatically and press start. Um, and then hopefully the, the robot arm's going to go under, uh, under the effort now. This is the first time she's ever going to be milked. The laser turns on, the robot arm's really, really slow and really quiet. As you can see, she's... Uh, Having a little bit of a go, a little bit nervous, fingers crossed. But you can see how the frame stopping the effort going backwards. So it's had a scan now, it's turned the tea cups on. I'm hoping she's going to be quiet for us. Fingers crossed. It's the first time scanning as well, though. Your robot's got to learn where all the teats are. Hopefully nice and quiet. Once again, it's scanning away, making a map of the udder. Once it gets all four teats locked in, it'll start to attach. Fingers crossed, she's nice and quiet. That's the first time she didn't like that. You can actually pin the rubber arm down. Just give him time to settle down. Settle down, girl. Come on, steady down. Steady down. Push them. Steady down. Steady down. Okay, she's uh, a bit handy with her feet. Push, girl. Come on, steady. Push then. That's got his leg crossed over. We'll just get, get, put a leg on the other side, that's it. Push girl, steady then, steady then, push then. Okay, there we go, first attachment. Obviously it's all new to us, so hopefully a little bit of patience. That's three attached. Okay, right, we've got four attachments now. But she's uh, she's in nice and quiet. She's eating corn out of the trough. She's not just let down properly for us. Obviously, it's first time uh, first time she's been in. She's a little bit nervous. I feel a little bit strange, but we've got uh, we've got her started. So you can see how the frame the frame in the back. Though she's not against it, it just stops her shooting backwards. It's holding her nice and nice and straight. She's letting down, I think. Now I'll go check. 
There we go, she's actually letting down in all four quarters. It's a little bit uneven on the uh, on the chart. We've got uh, 0 0.9 litres, 0 0.2, 0 0.2 and a 0.8. So she's milking on all four. Which is very quiet. First time in. Also not too bad, as you know we're milking parlours, we put them on manually. Um, it can be a little bit dangerous with heifers, sometimes you've got to get somebody to hold them. Thing is with the robot though, they're actually quite tightly restrained without being uncomfortable. This helps, it's obviously for safety as well. Right, she's let a little bit of milk down, what we'll do now, I'll, uh, I'll stop it and uh, we'll let her go. So she's given us... Uh, She's given us 2.6 litres, that's first milking. Obviously she's let down a little bit but not too much, we'll not overdo it. Uh, we'll bring her back in at tea time and see how she goes on again. Okay, we'll complete this now. With Lily, you can actually stop it and we can do a failed or succeeded. We'll do it as a succeeded. What it do, it'll take it off, it'll spray her, spray her teeth just as normal. Once again, she's a little bit nervous yet. But she'll uh, she'll settle down. Gonna feel a bit strange. She'll set, she'll settle down. The rubber arm's really really strong. It can take a lot of hammer from the heifers. So if you have any doubts whether they can break it or not, yeah, they can damage it. But uh, 99 times out of 100, absolutely fine. The robot just resets itself when it comes back, back to the home location. I'm, uh, I'm very pleased with that. So I'll try it now quietly for a few times, but the next time robot arm comes in, it will brush it, to brush it for the first time. When the robot arm goes in for the first time, it doesn't brush it, it just goes in gently and quietly. And then obviously the, the beast needs milk is uh, put into the bucket and, and fed to the calf and then the robot will wash out. So every time she's been in for, for about three or four days, as long as there's no penicillin in the heifers, uh, we've never treated them. So uh, as long as the beast needs milk uh, or the first milk is uh, drawn and used, we uh, use that to feed the calf and uh, Every time the robot's washed for the next three days, it'll uh, it'll wash itself out each time. It's just for cross uh, cross contamination, but with the bean heifers, there's, there's no problem with that. To keep the, keep the uh, diversion on for a little while, and uh, what the robot's done is popped her back here into the uh, back pen again. She's just wondering what's happened to her. She's a little bit confused, but uh, only about three or four times, and uh, they'll settle into it very very quickly very quickly uh, we've uh, I'm hoping you've noticed there's no restraining effort none of that goes on here we try to do it as quietly and as uh, relaxed as possible and in the long run it always works out well so this is the second time she's going to be milked by the robot this time the brushes uh, will go in and they'll actually clean the teats for the first time it does tend to make them a little bit nervous but uh, I'm hoping she'll be all right there you go come on girl Come on, there you go. She knows exactly where she's going now. She's getting so used to it. With no pushing or shoving. She'll quietly walk in. Got the frame in, hold her nice and tight. So like I said, the brushes are coming in for the first time this time. Let's see how she goes. Okay, a little bit nervous. Well, this is the first time she's ever been brushed. Doing all right. Uh, got her head into the trough, took it into a corn. Push girl, come on, steady then. Steady then, push then. Alright, steady then. Steady you can go. Okay, there we go, second time on. Okay, still, still a little bit nervous. That's only milking number two. 
we're not just letting down 100% yet, but uh, we've got milk flow. That's second time milking on a robot, so that's not bad. Just relax and keep quiet, keep calm. She knows the other cow, the cows around her, but uh, they very, very quickly get used to it, very quickly. 5.35, she's, she's joined the herd now. She'll settle down nicely. She's just finding her way around. So a little bit of an insight on how we train our heifers. We try to make it as stress-free for the uh, animal and as stress-free as we possibly can for the farmer. It works out better in the long run. Um, the heifers take the robots a lot better. It makes them more relaxed. And they relax when they're in the shed and they relax when they go and join the herd. If you do yours a little bit different, I'd be interested to know how, uh, how you do it. Leave, leave us a comment below. I'll get back to, you, back to as many of you as I possibly can. And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.